Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel Learn English with Hamid. I hope you like my channel and I'm sure you find the videos useful. Today we do a noun part 3, but before we do that, did you watch part 1 and part 2? I'm sure you did. If you haven't watched part 1 and part 2, watch that first. In today's video, we discuss uh, permanent plurals. Well, you might ask, what is permanent plural? Yes, we are going to find out that. Uh, but let me tell you, uh, these permanent plurals are very important from exam point of view. So you, watch, you should watch the video till the end. And before we start, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. Permanent plural nouns. We discuss permanent plural nouns today. So before we do that, uh, let's do a quiz first. So permanent plural nouns. And um, what are permanent plural nouns? Before we discuss that, I want you to do a quiz. And the quiz is this. We have uh, three sentences here. All these sentences have one mistake each. The last sentence has two mistakes. So the first sentence is the cattle has been grazing in the field for many hours. And the second sentence is the police has not been successful yet. And the last sentence is where is my headphone? The last sentence has two mistakes. So what are the mistakes? What are the correct sentences? Please pause the video here and write the correct sentences in the comment section and uh, come back after some time and check the answers. So I'm going to give you the answers in a while. Uh, what are permanent plural? So uh, nouns which are always plural, this is what we are going to discuss today. And these nouns are uh, clothes, uh, like these nouns are pieces of clothes. Pants, trousers, pajamas, underpants, jeans, overalls, shorts. Uh, now, if we use them in a sentence, these uh, words. So if I say, for example, where is my glasses or where are my glasses? So what do you think? Which one is correct? Again, pause the video and write the correct uh, answer in the comment section and check after some time. The next sentence is, where is my pants? Where are my pants? So, I'm sure you know now that uh, these nouns are permanent plural, which means that whenever we use them, <coughs> sorry, they will always take a plural verb. So the correct sentence is, where are my glasses? Where are my pants? And the correct answers uh, for these sentences are, uh, the cattle have been grazing because the cattle word in English is un uh, sorry It's permanent plural. We always say the cattle have the police word is also plural always plural <clears throat> the police have and this word Headphone is not headphone is headphones and it's always plural. So the correct sentence is where are my headphones? So <clears throat> there are many such words in English which are always plural and we must memorize, we must know those words, yes? Cattle, livestock, police, belongings, tentacles, goods, these words are always plural and they take a plural verb. Some more plural nouns, winnings, poultry, civil rights, vermin. The word vermin was given in a CSS paper once. And students were asked to correct it. Savings, special effects, stairs, effects, outskirts, riches, earnings, jitters, shenanigans, remains, annals, suds, whittles, arms, arrears, ashes, auspices, bowels, entrails, bands. So we see that uh, all these nouns are permanent plural. So they'll take a permanent, sorry, they'll take a plural verb. And most of these, or all of these nouns that we see on the screen right now, have an S at the end, but not necessarily. Moving on, more words. I have tried to, uh, dear viewers, I have tried to um, collect as many permanent plurals for you as I, uh, permanent plurals for you as I could. So I have a pretty comprehensive, like a pretty exhaustive or detailed list 
still the list is not complete but these are like uh, some of the most common permanent plural nouns that you will ever find and they will help you in exam as well and in speaking and uh, in spoken and written English as well brains <coughs> communications congratulations regards contents credentials minutes very common so minutes of the meeting we say for example dregs dues clubs diamonds hearts spades the last four words are from the game of cards uh, some more words <clears throat> permanent plural nouns grassroots heaps funds guts heads tails honors humanities letters lodgings looks mains uh, manners if you don't know uh, the meaning of any of these words please check them in a good dictionary odds pains particulars premises relations spirits surroundings systems thanks so thanks yes thanks as a noun troops topics valuables wages wits writings works and now some permanent plural nouns which are used uh, which are instruments like scissors kanchi so in pakistan in pakistani languages as far as i know kanchi word is un uh, sorry it's countable so we say where is the scissors for example in our language if we say kanchi kaha hai so in urdu it's uh, countable but in english scissors is always scissors word is always a permanent plural noun pliers goggles shears tweezers glasses spectacles <coughs> headphones yeah so headphones are where are my headphones or my headphones are broken shackles handcuffs tongs so these are instruments and these words are permanent plural nouns now we see that <coughs> these permanent plural nouns may have s or es at the end or they may not have so don't be deceived by the spelling of a word so police for example in english is permanent plural so we'll say the police have the police have been successful the police have not been successful but if we say the policeman then of course the policeman is there is a policeman standing out there for example <coughs> but the police word is permanent plural so the police have kettle kettle is uncountable so a word may not have s at the end but it is still a permanent plural could be and a word may have uh, may have s or es at the end but it's, it it may still it may still not be a permanent plural for example politics linguistics measles so measles is an uncountable noun so don't be deceived by the spelling and uh, try to remember try to memorize as many of these words as possible because these words are often given in exams and um, you are asked to correct that sentence so the sentence uh, in exam could be where is correct the following sentence where is my glasses or uh, let's say you may be given yes any of these sentences for example so that's all we have today for today i hope you like this lesson thank you very much please like this lesson um, and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel and come back for more lessons